Uh, welcome, everybody. Uh, tonight, we've got a uh, uh, Raymond Stein is here with uh, Ninja Trader, which uh, I uh, highly recommend as far as a uh, charting service. Uh, Raymond's been involved with trading and equities and futures for over eight years, and he joined Ninja Trader team about 2008 and is representing them in the uh, uh, quite a few of the trading shows uh, in New York and Las Vegas and has some very interesting stuff for us to look at tonight. So, uh, Raymond, nice to have you. Uh, I'll let you take it away. All right. Well, hello, everyone. This is Raymond Stein of Ninja Trader. I'd first like to give a very uh, special thank you uh, to Mr. Stephen Bigelow. I really appreciate you setting up tonight's event. Very excited to be in the room tonight to share um, some great information uh, about Ninja Trader. Uh, with everyone, I see some great uh, comments in there. Bill says he uses it. Uh, hey, Teddy, hey, Bob, Ken, everyone's saying the sound is good. Well, I appreciate that as well, uh, a, the audio and visual coming through also. So once again, thank you for joining. Looks like we have some people trickling in, and uh, thanks to everyone from Candlestick Trading Forum for sponsoring tonight's event. Well, I've got, uh, during tonight's event, uh, I've got a kind of mix here between some slides. I've got the live Ninja Trader software available to show you some great techniques you can use right away uh, in Ninja Trader as well. Uh, I did just start an instant poll, just like to see what type of Ninja Trader users uh, we have joining us in the room today. Uh, so feel free to click in there if you're currently using Ninja Trader with the free license key or one of our paid options uh, for trading live with Ninja Trader uh, to any of our over 100 brokers around the world. Oh, if you're not yet using Ninja Trader, and I've also got, uh, you'll see here, a special offer for everyone in the room tonight as well, so definitely stick around for that special offer uh, as we go along today. So let me take a moment here, and we'll, I'll show you what we're covering. You can contact me, uh, sales at NinjaTrader.com, attention uh, Ray Stein or Raymond Stein, and that will go directly to me if you have any questions after tonight's event. I do like to keep this an interactive webinar, so feel free to ask questions as we go along. Uh, I'll try to pause between sections to answer those questions for you, but I know we have a, a large room tonight, so I'm hoping to get a lot of questions as well to keep it uh, keep the webinar interactive for everyone. So uh, here's a little outline of what we're going to cover during uh, today's event. So uh, we're going to get into a little discussion about NinjaTrader so you know what it's about, uh, how NinjaTrader started, how it came to be. And then uh, we've got some great features you can use right away uh, absolutely free. Uh, I like to start off with market replay where you can record live market data, play it back at multiple speeds. Uh, and then we'll get into directly trading uh, through your chart along with your indicators uh, in the price action. Uh, while we're trading, I'll show you how to set up your own strategies with uh, target stops, auto break even stops, um, and auto trailing stops. I'll also show you a couple of great techniques you can use right away uh, if you like to bracket the market. For example, if you're a news trader, or if you like to uh, do the opposite and play the range, if you think the breakout's going to fail, got a couple great techniques for you as well. Uh, we'll be going through the charting and indicators. There's uh, uh, award-winning charting. You'll see multi-series charting, uh, different uh, multi-time uh, frame. I'll show you some new features you won't see in any other software. Hundreds of indicators you can use uh, right away with the software. You also take a look at the market analyzer with the watch list, real-time scanning, and then. Uh, if we have time, I'm going to show you how to test your trade ideas uh, with no programming required using an automated strategy, and you can run a back test on that very quickly on a year's worth of data, so we can uh, test out new trading ideas you might have. You don't have to do that by hand. Uh, and then we'll have the NinjaTrader exclusive webinar offer available only to those of you in the room uh, this evening. So definitely appreciate uh, appreciate that, and what I'll do here is... Uh, let me just take a look at this poll question. All right, wonderful. So currently we have 13% uh, of you are using uh, the free license key. So great to see uh, that some of you have come over and uh, tried out the software. Uh, tried out the software, they're absolutely free. Uh, we then have uh, just a handful of using the paid license key. They're lifetime license users in the room, so it's great. Uh, and the lease license key as well. So wonderful to see. The most of you are not yet using NinjaTrader. So uh, very good to see so many new 
Uh, new traders in the room, I know that you'll enjoy tonight's presentation. Again, if you have any questions, let me know. And you can download NinjaTrader absolutely free here uh, from the following link. Um, and uh, back testing, Bill, absolutely. I'll definitely try to get to that. Brandon, we do have some add-on providers that work with that, be, uh, work on with the iPad. Um, so uh, what you can do is send me an uh, email to sales at NinjaTrader.com with that question. We can uh, talk about how to use it with the uh, iPad as well. Uh, Gold Trader, the data feed can come through your broker. If you have an account, most brokers offer that for free, but we do also have uh, additional data providers. I'll talk about one in a moment. Kinetic, we can get you pricing uh, on that as well. Okay, great. So what we're going to do here is talk a little bit about NinjaTrader quickly. So NinjaTrader is absolutely free. You can download from that link I put in the room. Uh, you get all features of our software for free trading into your simulation accounts. So you and of course trading and simulation. You can trade uh, futures, forex, and equities products from hundreds of brokers uh, around the world. And you can see there, we'll cover a lot of the, the different tools, a breakdown there of the tools. Now, an interesting uh, story, I think, is how NinjaTrader started. NinjaTrader was formed about the end of 2004 by our CEO, Raymond Day. Ray was a successful trader at the time, but he wasn't happy with the trading software he had in the market. Namely, he wanted the ability to properly efficiently manage it. So he decided to create his own software. He actually taught himself uh, how to program in uh, C Sharp. And that allowed him uh, to create a software so that he could uh, predefine where his targets and stops were placed before he played. Additionally, trailing stops and auto break even stops. And this was the birth of what we call today ATM strategies, which I'll go into depth with you. Now, NinjaTrader has come oh, leaps and bounds since then. And oh, oh, audio. Uh, Raymond, we're having problems with your sound. All right. Uh, let me go ahead and test that again. I think there was, um, I think I had my antivirus starting a scan. So I stopped that. Uh, let me know if it's coming through uh, better now. It looks like yep. uh, Omnivia is saying that it's better. Okay. Yep. Um. All right. Excellent. Thank you. I, I apologize about that. So real quickly, so what I was talking about there was just a how NinjaTrader started about the end of 2004 by Raymond Day. Uh, basically, he created him, uh, he taught himself how to program so he could create his own software to trade, uh, to create his targets and stops before he placed the trade. And that's ATM strategies. I'll cover that later uh, on today. Uh, so NinjaTrader has come leaps and bounds since uh, when Ray first created it into a full end-to-end -end trading platform. We see that today uh, for any trader to take advantage of the market, whether you're a new trader or a seasoned veteran. So NinjaTrader truly a platform built for traders by traders, and I think that's why uh, we have such a presence in the market. Uh, our CEO is a trader himself, and uh, he definitely takes suggestions from traders like you. So if you ever need a suggestion or want to Submit a suggestion. He covers those every year for the next release of NinjaTrader and puts in there um, as many of those as he can. You can email support at NinjaTrader.com with any suggestions you have for the software. So a little background on NinjaTrader I think is interesting um, as well. Now, uh, I see some comments in there. Yes, TD Ameritrade, you can get connected right away uh, to your TD Ameritrade account. I'll, let me give you a link here with all of our connection guides. Uh, you can take a look at all of our different connection providers that you can use right away. And speaking of that, NinjaTrader did introduce last year uh, Kinetic, which is our preferred data provider. What's great about Kinetic is it provides free end-of-day data uh, for stocks, futures, forex, ETFs, and indices, so uh, all the instruments that you will need. And that, you just go to File, Connect, and NinjaTrader, and you can get connected right away to free end-of-day data. If you do need live data and intraday tick and minute data, uh, those packages do start as low as $50 a month. Uh, you get a lot with that basic package at $50 a month, and you can also qualify uh, to have your CME exchange fees waived, which means you get all the CME exchanges for free. That's over $300 a month in free data. So 
Uh, check out Kinetic.com today if you do want um, data in addition to your broker connection uh, as well. All right, so what I'm going to do is just cover a couple slides here on the features of NinjaTrader, and then I'll show you the live software as well. I'll show you exactly how you can use that. All right, let me see. That looks like my projection is a little slow there. Let me go ahead and just quickly restart that. So you'll see my projection go off for just a moment. And we'll make sure that's refreshed here. All right, sorry about that. Okay, so here's the market replay you should be able to see now. What's great about market replay, and traders are absolutely loving this feature, is you can actually download uh, data. I'll show you how to do that from the NinjaTrader servers. Or you can, uh, you can record your own live data. So let's say you're connected, you have 100 instruments running. NinjaTrader will record all of that data. You can replay it just like the entire market replay during the day and trade any of those instruments. It's really a great feature. Uh, you can connect any time you want. So if you work during the day, you want to trade in the evenings or the weekend. You can do that anytime you want. All of our windows work with the market replay. So it's just a free source of data here uh, that you can practice your trading with. Now, we're going to get right into trading as well. I'll show you to trade directly off of your chart with our powerful chart trader order entry window, um, which allows you to react, to react to price action instantly in your chart. What I like about it, as you can see a screenshot here, is I like to... Uh, line my orders up. You see some targets and stops. You can line those up with your price action or any indicators that you use. So if you're more of a visual trader, and we're finding that a lot of traders uh, love this feature, you can use a chart trader. We also do have a Superdome order entry window and basic order entry if you like to plug in your numbers as well. But this is a highly visual way to trade, and uh, I think it's one of the best features of NinjaTrader, which you'll see here in just a moment. Now, as we bring Chart Trader up, we're also going to talk about, and I'll show you how to build an ATM strategy, which allows you to predefine your targets uh, and stops. Um, and this is, again, why our CEO created the software in the first place. He wanted the ability to say, I'm going to put my stop, my targets at, let's say, 10 ticks or, you know, 10 cents above my entry. Another one at 15 cents that above, my stops at 10 and 15. And when I enter, I want those automatically placed. And that's what the ATM, ATM technology will do, do not be for long. you. That white and you can also attach to it auto break even, trailing stops, and even simulated stop orders. And the orders manage themselves. Uh, once you enter that, you can just sit back uh, and let the screen manage itself there. Um, if you have a blank screen, uh, Okay, great. Jim said that. Uh, you can come back in the room. I know that the F5 key uh, will auto-reload the room for you as well, so hopefully that will work work out for you also. So what I'm going to do now is actually go to a white screen. You should all see the white screen. And uh, just bring up my NinjaTrader workspace. What's great about NinjaTrader, all the windows are free-floating windows. You can resize them however you would like. And here's just my kind of customized workspace here. Exactly, Bill. Polar bear snowstorm. So now you should actually see the charts here or the chart on your screen, just a workspace. I've got a Superdome, our market uh, analyzer down below where I can keep track of my instruments. We'll talk about these later. Time and sales window. You can see um, some of those coming in here also. So uh, what I'll do is let me just come over to uh, Apple stock. I think we have most um, equities traders in the room this evening, so we'll keep it on equities. But again, I'll switch over between them. Um, uh, Forex as well, and um, and futures. So what we'll do is let's focus here on the chart. So I'll go ahead and expand the chart a little bit. And you see I've got a couple indicators here, just some SMAs, uh, stochastics down below. We'll get into the charting here uh, in just a bit uh, as well. Now the first thing again I wanted to talk about was market replay. So let me give you an example of market replay. Now the NinjaTrader servers... Um, are not the same size, I should say, as a, as a true data server. So we only provide uh, futures, the most common futures and uh, Forex instruments at the moment uh, to download. I know they're working on updating that, hopefully to have some, uh, some of the most popular equities as well 
Um, but as you can imagine, it's a lot of data to download all the tick data for the day. But if you want to try this feature, uh, go to File Utilities and then Download Replay Data. And again, you can record your own live data as well. For any stocks you want to record, you can actually record an entire list uh, of those instruments as well. And let me just throw in a quick link here uh, to our help guide. So that way you want to go into more detail on these topics. You can take a look at the help guide. And all of our webinars are recorded and available on our YouTube channel as well. Some great resources if you want to dive more into uh, MenuTrader. Okay, so coming back to the download replay data, what I'm going to do is I'm going to download today's data for the E-mini S&P 500, the ES uh, futures, for any of you that trade futures out there. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll choose the instrument. Uh, under the type, you can actually choose uh, future. And then the name is ES, and the front month is currently uh, the 1212. Um, about to roll over there if you're a futures trader, but we're currently on the 1212. And then we'll set this to today's date. So select your instrument, put in the date. We do have uh, level one and level two data. Uh, but just for tonight, I'll download level one data, which is the current ask and bid. Level two data is about uh, five levels deep on that, so it'll take a little bit longer to download. So now you can see it's downloading level one replay data for the ES for today. So it's going to be nice. We're actually going to go back to today's data and replay some trading on today's data. And everything I'm showing you uh, here, once we get into the ES, uh, is applicable, and I'll show you that for uh, stocks and um, Forex as well, uh, whatever you're interested in trading there. Okay, so while that's downloading, uh, we'll give that just a moment. There we go, that finished. We're going to disconnect from our live data. So I'll go to File Disconnect. I'll disconnect from Kinetic. And then you want to reconnect by going to File Connect, and we're going to connect to Market Replay. So choose Market Replay. And has got uh, tons of available connections for you. And if you need assistance, again, email us at sales at ninjatrader.com, and we'll be happy to set you up. All right, so now we're connected to Replay. And you're going to see this Replay controller appear. This allows us to play our data, uh, stop it, fast forward it. So what I like to do is if you right-click here, you can select Go To. And this will take you to a specific day and time. You can put in whatever you'd like here. I have data all the way back through, uh, looks like June. So I'll choose 12-6-2012. Uh, I'm going to go right to the market open, 7.30 a.m. Eastern time. Or I'm sorry, 7.30 a.m. Denver time. I'm in Denver, Colorado office here in IndyTrader, so that's 9.30 Eastern. I'll click OK. And what that's going to do is load the chart to that exact time for me. All right, so now let's come back to the chart. I'm going to change this chart to an ES chart. 1212, you can actually type directly into your chart. I'll get, get into this in more detail a little bit later. And I'll take a look at a three-minute chart. We'll come to an intraday chart here. And here's a nice uh, three-minute chart. So now I'm going to click on the play button on the replay. And you see it actually starts playing just like it did during the live market. And it, in fact, if I bring up the time and sales, if I show that, you're going to see it tick through just like it did during the live market. You see that playing here. Now, what's nice about Market Replay is I can click on the, the Fast Forward button. And let me move this over a little bit. At the top of the replay, you can see we're at six times, eight times speed. We go all the way up to 500 times speed. You'll see those three-minute bars just flying through there. Okay, so if I let that play through, you'll see that that'll play through. And um, you zoom out a little bit here so we can see. There we go. You can see that kind of playing through. Uh, for today. Let's zoom back in. Actually, we'll come do it. Let's do five minute bars. I'll just check 5M and press enter. A nifty little feature. And there we go. We have some five minute bars there on the chart playing through for the day. Now you can go through, practice your trading. Um, even your automated strategies will work here. And so next we'll get into um, creating our own strategies. So there you go. Uh, playing through there. And we'll go ahead and pause that for now. And we can uh, rewind it, which is great as well. All right, W2JC says, that's cool. Absolutely, this is a great way to practice your trading um, as many times as you want. You don't have to wait for the live market hours anymore. So it's like, I like to show you that right off the bat. Okay, so next, let's talk about trading uh, off of your chart here. So what I'm going to do is select Go To again. Um, actually, we, it's only 9.53, so I'll click Play here. I'll let that keep playing through. 
Now, if I wanted to place a trade here, I could use our quick order entry buttons up here on the right. For example, I can click buy market. And you see, actually, let me unplug my volume here. I'll click buy market again. And you hear order filled. I'm now long two contracts since uh, this is just a future here. But if you're trading equities, you just enter uh, the number of shares you want to trade, 100, 200, 1,000. And it's the same exact process here. Uh, so you see long two. The thing about that is 200 shares if you want. Um, so we're long two, and that's our average entry price. Uh, we've got the buy uh, at the ask and bid button, sell at the ask and bid. REV stands for reverse, so I'll click reverse. There you go, and now we're short, so we've got that quick reverse button, which is nice, and then the close button closes you out of your open position. Now, you notice that there were no targets and stops. That's just basic order entry. Um, I should note that you can right-click to submit your limit and stop orders inside of the chart. So I'll right-click at 1409.75, and you see I placed a buy limit order. And you can then move those orders around in the chart. So that's your own uh, manual orders if you want to enter uh, those orders as well. So full chart trader has all those features for you. Now, I want to get into creating a strategy and show you a couple techniques as well. So if you want to create targets and stops, uh, with your entry order, what you want to do is set up an ATM strategy. And what I'll do is let me expand the chart here so everyone can see. We'll focus right here on the chart. Where it says ATM strategy in the bottom right of Chart Trader, there's a little button. If you click on that, we can now uh, build an ATM strategy. So in the order quantity up in the right, you enter the quantity you're trading. So again, we're in a future, so I'll put three contracts. The thing about that is 300 shares or however many shares you're trading there. Uh, or three lots if you're trading Forex. Now, moving down, we've got the TIF. That's time and force. If you want a day order or a good till canceled order, you can choose that right here. Now, moving down, we have the ATM strategy drop-down menu. This holds all of your uh, saved strategies. You can save it as a template. So you don't have to recreate it every time. I'll show you how to do that. But if you're following along, let's create a new strategy. Click on the custom item. And now we can choose how many targets we want, one, two, or three. So what we'll do is I'll go ahead and choose a three-target strategy. And now I need to decide, out of my total of three, how do I want to split that up? Well, it's pretty easy in this scenario. I'll just do one, one, and one. But let's say you're trading uh, 10 contracts or 1,000 shares. You could split that up any ways you want. Moving down, we've got the stop loss and profit target. You enter the stop loss and profit target as a number of ticks away from your average entry price. Now, let me define a tick. If you're a futures trader, a tick um, is, is kind of the language you talk, and it's the smallest increment of movement. But for equities, one tick is equal to one penny. So when you're setting these up, just think about the pennies uh, here as well. And this can be changed per, per percent, if you like to set up in percent or uh, absolute price. But for example, let's say I want my stop loss at 10 cents behind, or 10 ticks. I just entered 10. Let's say I want my first target at 10 as well. I'll enter 10 there. Now I'll come to my second target. I can do the same thing. Maybe I want that stop at 12 cents and then that target at uh, 15. And then for my third, my third target, I'll have the stop loss at 14 for fun. You can have these all at the same level if you want. And then I'm going to show you how to set up a runner. This is kind of interesting. You can leave a, a target as zero, which means you don't have a target. And we're going to use an auto trail to take us out of that market, which means we're not going to have a target. We're just going to let it go up and up or, you know, down and down, whatever position we're in, until it stops us out. We call that a runner. So we'll leave the target at zero. Now, in addition to having our hard stops and targets, I'm going to set up an auto trail and auto break even. Okay. Oh, I just saw that question, Andrew. Uh, set up the time and sales by going to file new and then time and sales uh, from the control center here. Just go to File, Menu, New, and then Time and Sales. Okay, great. Um, okay, Stephen, good question. Unfortunately, we don't support options at this time, Stephen. Uh, so it's a good good platform if you want to trade the underlying equity, you know, kind of hedge your op options positions. I know there's a lot of uh, strategies where you do want to take position in the uh, underlying um, instrument. Uh, hopefully, we get options added in the future. I know that's one market I hope that we do support. Um, as I've done some options trading myself, but unfortunately right now it is stocks, futures, uh, and forex. 
Okay, and I, I believe we will start supporting actually CF. Uh, let's see the um, the spread trading as well. We had a, a new uh, CFDs uh, that we'll be supporting as well with the spread trading. Um, so we do have some new you know new markets coming into play here, and I know that options is one that our management does hope to support in the future. Good question there. Okay, so now what we're going to do is create an auto trailing stop and auto break even. To do that. We're going to come down to where it says Stop Strategy and click on Custom. And again, I know I'm going a little bit quick tonight, uh, but it will be recorded, and we have all this documentation in the Help Guide and YouTube links that I put into the room as well. So under Auto Break Even, you want to choose you, your profit triggers, the number of ticks in profit where you want your stop to move to your break even. So let's say I'll set that to 10, which means when it hits my first target, I'm going to have the stops on my second and third target move to break even. Okay. Now, where it says plus zero, <clears throat> that is equal to your break-even price, and this is where you can set an offset. For example, if I put plus one, that's going to move it one tick ahead of my uh, break-even price. Um, so that's one penny. Maybe if you're trading a uh, stock, maybe ten cents to cover your commissions, whatever your commissions are. Uh, but for futures traders, usually like to leave that at one to cover commissions in case we're stopped out. So that's our auto break even. Now moving down, we're going to set up an auto trail if, if we get into more and more profit. Okay, so what we'll do is come down and we'll set the uh, profit trigger here to 15, which means that 15 ticks in profit, it's going to start. The stop loss is the size of our auto trail. I'll have that trail by 10 ticks behind the current price. And then frequency is how often that's going to update. I'll set that to every three ticks. So every time it moves three, it's going to update my auto trail. And you'll see that here when we run the strategy. All right, now we do have a simulated stop volume trigger. This is interesting, a little bit more advanced, uh, but let me explain it to you, and you can try it out in simulation. It's kind of an interesting feature. Let me, uh, let me ask a question out there, you traders. How many traders place your stops um, at you know, maybe key support or resistance levels? How many of you have had the market come down, touch your stop, and not even go a tick past it, and then it reversed in your direction? If you ever had that happen to you, maybe just type a, you know, a Y in the room. Um, and Glenn says, uh, will Ninja work for end of day on the Mac without downloading special software? Uh, Glenn, unfortunately, you do have to use some parallels. Uh, it's only a Windows-based software at this time. Um, but you do have to uh, use you know, a parallels or VMware, something like that. And we do have a lot of Mac traders. Uh, are the targets in relation to the original order or to each other? Good question, Pedro. The original entry, uh, you're, they're in relation to the entry order. Okay, good question, Pedro. All right, absolutely. So uh, I've had that happen where I have my stop in place, maybe just below some uh, what I thought was good support. The market came down, just touched it, and then went back up. If that stop hadn't been touched, it would have saved the trade. This is NinjaTrader's tool to help you with that, the simulated stop volume trigger. It's based on the ask or bid volume, depending on whether you're long or short. So let's say we're going to go long. It's going to look at the bid volume. See right there how it jumps around? Let me pause the replay for a second. Oh, it won't let me pause in this window. But you can see it jumps around there. It's at 600 right now. You know, it jumps down to 2 and 100 sometimes. Obviously, you'd think the more offers at the bid, the more support. So what you want to do is put in the minimum amount you're willing to accept at the bid. So, for example, if I put in 100 here, NinjaTrader will not submit my stop unless the bid volume at my stop Why falls below 100. So imagine tick the market's trading, hit, let's say 1400. My stop's at 1400. Long, Even though it's well. trading at 1400, my stop will still be in place until the bid volume falls below 100. So if it stays above that and then turns around, you didn't get stopped out and it saved that trade for you. So kind of an interesting tool here. Um, you can play around with that on the simulation, uh, trading and simulation as well. All right, so now we've got our strategy created. What we're going to do is right-click to save that strategy. So you just right-click. You can create a name for your uh, strategy. I want to call it the CTF or candle, uh, Candlestick Trading Forum uh, Stop Strategy. And I'll click Save and OK. What's nice is an intro uses templates, so that way you can actually just apply that template to all three of our targets. So you see here I'm just selecting the CTF stop strategy for all three targets.
target, so that way all my stops move together. Finally, I'm going to save the strategy. I'm going to right-click, select Manage ATM Strategy Template, call this the CTF uh, Strategy, and click Save. So now that I've got my strategy saved, I can select it from my list of strategies, and now we can enter the market. So I don't remember which way the market went this morning. Let's go ahead and we'll just do a buy market order. All right, so you see I just clicked buy market. Notice my targets submitted automatically, same with my stops. So within a fraction of a second, you've got your targets and stops in place, actually at the exchange. So with replay here, let's speed it up. Let's see what the market did here. If it came down to hit our stops or if it went up and hit our targets. All right, came down close to stop. If one of these gets hit, you'll see, there we go, the target associated with it is automatically canceled. So they are OCO orders. So that way you don't have to worry about orders sitting out there in the market. All right, there we go. So that, that one didn't work out so well. Let's go ahead and I'll get into a trade here where it actually works out. So that way when you do have a successful trade, you'll see what happens. So this one, moving up here, we'll see if we can get up to our first target. And when it hits that first target, all of our stops are going to move to break even plus one tick automatically. So come up here at 200 times speed. Almost, oh, we came within a tick of our target. All right, there we go, target filled. So you see our target was just filled, and our stops automatically moved uh, to our break-even price. And let me just turn on my chart markers real quickly here. That way you'll be able to see where we entered and where we were filled. So. I uh, got a little clogged up here. We can see our entry uh, with this uh, blue order, and then our target just got hit uh, up above. So now if I click play, I'll take those off. Kind of clogged it up a little bit. Leave our markers on there. You can see where that target was filled. So now we're going to continue on. Now we're in a risk-free trade, right? Either it's going to hit our second target, get us more profit, or it's going to take us out. We're still going to get one tick. Uh, so we're in a risk-free trade. We already took profit on our first target. So we'll speed this up. We'll see what happens here. If the market continues up or if it comes back and stops us out at a break-even. All right, almost hit our second target there, kind of consolidating. And there it hit our stop, so we took a break-even on the last two. All right, so what we're going to do now, I want to show you uh, when this market if you really get into a good trade, I'll show you how it trails uh, all the way through here. And what we're going to do is let me just kind of cheat a little bit. I'm going to come back to this time, 8.25 a.m. And if this is a great feature if you want to replay your trades. Let's say you didn't, you know, you didn't manage it the way you want. Rewind the market replay, and we're going to take long here. Uh, since we know it was going to happen, of course, at uh, about 8.25 or so. So what we'll do is uh, hit the play button here. And we'll kind of let the market play through. And actually come back exactly to a little before 8.25 here, so we can get into this trade. Just like the real market, it won't let me get in where I want to. But I want to show you what it looks like when you have a, when you have a great trade here. And you'll see it automatically uh, manage that uh, position for you. So what we'll do, let's put in a buy limit here. 14.06, there we go. So now we'll play through the market. We'll see if that market ever comes back down to 14. Uh, 06, I think that it does. Oh, we really missed it there. All right, there we go. So now we're filled at uh, 1405.25. So now we know the market's going to go up, right? And I just want to show you that the stops will auto-trail all the way up 
Target one just got filled there. We got our stop move to break even. Target two filled. Now moving up. And now we're going to be in this position. There it goes. It's following it up as long as the market takes us up. And it's going to protect our profit all the way up. So there we go. It just went up. And now when the market comes back down, it'll probably hit our auto trail. It protected a little bit more profit. There you get that ka-ching sound. It's protecting your profit. You can manually close it out. You can click close. Or you can just let it hit your order. And there we had a nice trade. Three targets or two targets hit and then our auto trail hit. So that's the true power in those ATM strategies. And we show you how to set those up every day uh, at NinjaTrader.com uh, uh, in our webinars. And I'll give you the link there um, for our free training events if you want to come learn more in a live event. Okay, so uh, Ken says my... Uh, Audio and visual is restarting. It looks okay to me right now, but uh, I'll keep an eye on that. So thanks, Ken. Okay, so that's one of the most powerful features I wanted to show you tonight. All right, so I'm going to take you through the charting and indicators here in a moment. Multi-instrument, multi-time series analysis. But what I want to do... Uh, for those of you who uh, do have to get going tonight, is let me get right to the special offer here and uh, some of the other items uh, we'll cover tonight. And then I'll get back into the live uh, software for those of you that are able to stick around and want to see the live software as well. We're next going to go through, uh, after the charting, I'll take you through Market Analyzer, real-time scanning, set up your own scanning list, uh, different instruments, uh, hundreds of instruments here on our Market Analyzer. You can actually link that to your chart. An order entry window, another powerful window that you can use uh, in NinjaTrader. Uh, custom color conditions, filters, and like I said, real-time alerts. A very powerful window. You can see a screenshot there of a customized market uh, analyzer. Automated strategies and backtest. I'm really uh, going to get to that tonight. I really want to get to that. I'll show you how to create your own uh, or test out your trade idea uh, through our click and point construction. Uh, no need to know any programming. It is based in C-sharp, but you don't have to know C-sharp. If you do, um, then you can get into that C-sharp as well. Uh, but a very powerful back tester in NinjaTrader I'll show you here in just a moment. So now, let me give you the special offer. This page just shows our basic or our standard pricing. So when you're ready to... Oh, excuse me there. So when you are ready to trade live with NinjaTrader, the normal price is uh, $995 for a lifetime license key, which is great uh, because it is our best value. You get all future enhancements and upgrades. So NinjaTrader, current version is NinjaTrader 7, but when we come out with 8, 9, 10 in the future, you get that at no cost. You get that for life. You also get our lifetime support. We've got an amazing support team. They do remote login assistance. They can log in, help you get everything set up on your computer. Um, or you can choose our leasing options. We do have several options um, starting at $180 for a quarter, so that's three months, about $60 uh, a month there. But you can go all the way up to an annual lease, and there's upgrades from there. However, I do have a special offer uh, for everyone in the room. And Steve says they are great people. Great, Steve. Uh, looks like you have some experience with our support staff, and they I, I put them up against any right, other company out there. Uh, they're amazing support staff, absolutely. So thanks for putting that below in, Steve. Do not I've got long, three special offers right here for those 12. of you in the room. The first one is we're going to give you a discount on the lifetime license key with NinjaTrader. Never have to pay for software again. Again, the advantages of NinjaTrader, we do support hundreds of brokers. So if you're ever tired of changing brokers and having to learn a new platform every time you change a broker, you don't have to worry about that with NinjaTrader. You can change between our brokers. You keep the same software uh, for life here with our lifetime license key. We do have two options. We've got a single broker lifetime license key. That's the most popular. We're going to give you a, take off $100 off of that. That's if you use one broker. So instead of that $9.95 price, we'll take $100 off, $8.95. Uh, you'll have NinjaTrader for life, including all three upgrades and our full support uh, from our great staff. Now, if you do trade to two or more brokers, you can uh, purchase our multi-broker. Let's say you trade Forex with, um, you know, broker A. Uh, stocks with broker B, and then futures with broker C. You can connect to all three at the same time. And actually, place trades to all three at the same time. Um, a great feature of the NinjaTrader platform. 
Okay, so that's our, our first one there. Andrew, thanks for that. Really appreciate that. Okay, so we're next giving you a discount on upgrading. I think this only applies to uh, a few of you in the room. So if you already have a single broker lifetime license key, uh, we're going to give you a discount on the upgrade. If you ever want to connect to two or more brokers, we'll take $100 off the upgrade price, which is just the difference between the two, $500. We'll take $100 off, so that's $400 full 20% off uh, to upgrade to the multi-broker license key. So it's a great uh, time to do that if you did want to connect, get our top-of-the-line license key. Also, if you do currently lease NinjaTrader, we'd also give you a discount on any time remaining. So if you've got a month left, we'll take off that month of time. We'll also take off the discount, and you'll get a real discounted price on the lifetime license key. Now, we put together this brand new offer just for those of you in the room today. If you would like to try live trading with NinjaTrader absolutely free, we will give you one month free as full $60 value. Uh, absolutely free. So download NinjaTrader for free and you can place your live trades right away. Try out your live trading with NinjaTrader uh, for 30 days absolutely free. What's great is there's no risk to you. Uh, we'll give you a special link. You'll sign up, cancel anytime you want in the first 30 days and you will not be charged. If you decide to keep it after that 30 days, uh, we'll just uh, let you know that we'll enroll you in our normal subscription, uh, which is uh, that $60 a month or the $180 for the quarter about $60 a month. And this only applies if you've never purchased NinjaTrader before. Uh, so this is just a way for those of you out there to try it out absolutely free with live trading. Now, if you want to take advantage of any of these discounts, uh, it's a very exclusive discount just for those of you in the room today with our great partner, um, Stephen Bigelow Candlestick Trading Forum. Uh, what we're going to do is I want you to email me if you want to take advantage of this, just so I know that you are in today's or this evening's webinar. Uh, email me, sales at ninjatrader.com, and let me come back here, and put in the subject so I know you're in the room. I'll type this in the room here, sales at ninjatrader.com, and I just want you to mention that you were in uh, tonight's uh, webinar so we can check on that, candlestick forum webinar, discount, type that in so you can just copy that. We're going to send you your own uh, discount link back to you by email only. Um, and you definitely want to act now. It's a very exclusive offer. We don't want it outside of this room. So uh, my manager is going to have that expire at the close of business tomorrow. Um, so email us right away, sales at ninjatrader.com. Let us know if you want to take advantage of that and try out live trading with NinjaTrader for free uh, or get the lifetime license discount or that upgrade discount to the multi-broker license key. So if there's any questions on that, uh, feel free to let me know. Otherwise, let's get back into the software um, and let me show you a couple other items that I wanted to cover uh, with you this evening. So I'm going to come back here and just bring up that chart again. We'll get right back into some of these great features. Now, I want to show you a great technique. Once you use your ATM strategies, um, a couple techniques here that you might not have seen before. So first technique is what if you're waiting for a breakout uh, to occur in the market? And let me just find... Let's find a good example here. Uh, let me come back. Let's see. This is today's trading right here. Not sure if we have a great example here. Uh, what I'm going to do is let me just disconnect right here for my next example. Let's get out of market replay. I'm going to connect to what we call our simulated data feed, and that's actually a fake, uh, a fake data feed. Uh, but what's great about it is you have control of the, which way the market's going. You get this little trend slider, so we can practice your trading. So it has your historical data on here. It's going to be perfect for my example. So in this scenario, let's say that the market is just kind of consolidating. Oh, I don't have data on there for my um, some of my instruments in my simulated data feed. Okay, so what we're going to do is let me just highlight an area here of consolidation. So let's say the market's been consolidating uh, at this level. Maybe we're waiting on some big news to come out. Maybe a stock you know, earnings report. Maybe uh, if you trade futures, oil numbers, uh, all types you know, of news comes out, sends the market flying. What if we were able to bracket the market before that news came out with our strategies in place? We'd have a very powerful technique. Let me show you how to do that. 
What I'm going to do is right click in the chart trader and turn on what we call OCO order. One cancels other. And that means that if one order gets hit, the other will automatically be canceled. Next, I'm going to choose my strategy. And now I'm going to place stop orders on either side of the consolidation. So I'm going to put a buy stop up above. Okay, so you should see that buy stop up above. I do need to reselect my strategy. That's what I'm doing here. I'm going to put a sell stop down below. Okay, so now what we've got is a bracket, bracket around the market here. I'm going to send my trend slider up. Okay, I'll turn off the OCO since we placed our orders. Now, we can just sit back and wait for that news to come out. Right, so we're all set up. We've got our strategies taking place. Now, let's say the news came out. Now the market's uh, heading up. When this buy stop gets hit, you're going to see the sell stop automatically canceled. There you go. It's auto canceled. And now I'm in with my strategy in place. And you'll see as the market goes up, it's going to, um, that ATM strategy is going to manage it automatically for me. As it heads up, it's going to hit our target. Target filled. There we go. Moving up. Second target. Uh, up there, and you know the rest of the story here. It's going to auto trail all the way up and take out uh, take out those targets, and I'll close this out. Okay, so a good technique there. That's our breakout uh, technique. Now the next technique is the opposite. So let me draw another rectangle here. Actually, I'll just drag this one up. Let's say you want to take the opposite strategy. Uh, let's just say you think the market's going to consolidate between the high and low of this rectangle, right? We maybe will get a fake out, but I think that it's not going to have any strength. And a lot of traders haven't even thought, you know, I talked to a lot of traders, they haven't thought about this technique. I'm going to reverse the orders on that strategy I just showed you. Instead of stop orders, we're going to use limit orders. So take a look at this. We're going to turn on OCO order, and I'm going to place, uh, right click up here and place a sell limit order to go short if it comes up top. Okay, and then I'm going to place a buy limit order to go long if it comes down to the bottom of our consolidation, right? So we're hoping price comes up and then falls back uh, into this box or vice versa. So let's say price does come up. Okay, so I set the trend up. So what's going to happen? Let's say price is going to come up. It's going to try for a breakout, but we're actually going to short this breakout. Okay, so price is heading up now. We're going to short the breakout. It's going to cancel our buy limit down below. Give it just a few more ticks here. And it's going to get filled, and it's going to have our strategy to the short side. There we go. So take a look. So, you know, maybe the breakout went up, and we're saying, you know, this is going to be a fake out. So there we go. So it broke out a little bit. We got short right at the top. And now that breakout's failing. We've got our strategy in place. We can just sit back now, let it auto-manage. Or you can also move your targets and stops around if you want to go for more or less there. Move your stops if you want to protect yourself a little early. We can move those down. And there we go. It hit our target. And again, you know that it manages it all the way down. So two strategies you can use right away in your trading, regardless of... Uh, you know, what platform you're using right now. Of course, NinjaTrader has that feature built in for you. All right, now another feature. Have you ever gone long and short on the same instrument at the same time? Now, why would I even want to do that? Let's switch over. I know we have a lot of uh, equities traders in the room today. I believe most of you uh, trade equities. And let's see if I can get some of our SIM data here on Apple. Let's see where that's at. I don't think I have historical data. Let me just connect real quickly uh, to my live data feed here. Let's see if I can do my next example with an equity for everyone. So you can see how it works. So I'm just going to load some data here for Apple. There we go. So that's actually today's five-minute chart. Now I'm going to connect again to my simulated data feed to simulate some... Uh, data. So give me just one moment and we should be set. There we go. I need to just quickly change my trading hours here uh, on this.
There we go. Okay, so just showing it to set uh, to show the after hours market. All right, there we go. So now we've got our fake data on Apple. Let's do a trade here with Apple. So this time, uh, we're going to go long and short at the same time. Now, why would you ever want to do that? Let me give you an example. Let's say that um, I want to take a, a swing position in Apple. Let's say I want set this to a thousand a uh, thousand shares. And I want to. I think that in the next few days, or maybe just over the course of today, you know, the trading day, the market's going to go up. So I'll take my position here. Um, whoops, don't have enough money in my SIM account. That's all right. Let me just set it to 100 shares. There we go. And let me just zoom in on our price action so we can see what's going on here. All right, so we've got our target and our stop here. Let's just say we've got one target and one stop for a longer-term position that we're going to hold. And let me send the trend up. So let's say we've got our longer-term position here, and we're in, you know, in with some profit. However, during the day, on the shorter time frame, I want to short against my longer-term position. Okay, so let's say we're in some profit here, and now... You know, I want to hold my long-term position, but I also want to take some scalp trades against my longer-term position. You can do that in NinjaTrader, kind of an interesting, interesting technique here. What I'm going to do is right-click, come to my properties. We just change a property here in NinjaTrader, and um, it's called ATM Strategy Selection Mode. I set it to display only the strategy I have selected. Click OK. And again, we'll show you this in, uh, we'll go through this a little bit more slowly in our webinar. But I want to show you exactly how this works. Let me move my stop back down. So now what I'm going to do is choose a different strategy here. Um, here we go. Let's say I've got my scalp strategy. And now what I'll do is I'll click sell market. All right, so now I'm in a short position. Okay, so if I choose my short position, you can see I'm short, too. And then if I choose my long position, I'm actually long right now, 100 shares. I'm short two shares. I would definitely probably do more than that in uh, real trading. But you can see I'm now sh long and short at the same time. So if my scalp worked out and it hit my target, um, I would be back into my full long position. So it's actually a very interesting strategy if you want to go long and short, you know, long for the entire day and then scalp against your day position. As those targets get filled on your scalps, you're actually getting a better fill on your longer term trade. So it's a little bit more advanced strategy here, and you can use multiple order entry windows. So you can see both positions at the same time. Um, but as I switch between these, here's my short position, and then here's my and then I had my long position as well. And it looks like it stopped out my long, and I'm here on my short scalp uh, with a little bit of a profit. But an interesting technique to go long and short at the same time. You won't see that with uh, any other platform we've seen out there uh, in the market. So now what I want to do, I know we had some requests for the auto strategy. Uh, let me show you an automated strategy and how to test out your trading idea. Uh, Steve has a question. How far back does the third contract auto trail behind? Steve, I had that one set up. Uh, I'll show you here. They're all set to trail by the same amount. Uh, I set it to trail by 10. Uh, so 10 ticks with the stock that's 10 cents. You can, of course, increase that to whatever you would like, Steve. And you can, you can actually do a different trail amount for each target. I just didn't get into that detail in my demonstration. But, Steve, you can really set it up to whatever trail amount uh, that you like. All right, so good question there. So now let's take a look um, just at the chart here. And let's say you have a new idea for a trading strategy. You know, maybe you have an indicator up on the chart. Right click, select indicators. We've got hundreds of indicators you can work with. Um, and so let's just say I've got the uh, I've got the S or the uh, stochastics down here. So looking at the stochastics, let's come up with the strategy here. How about um, let's see? How about every time uh, this we'll do the green line. Every time the green line crosses above uh, the 20 mark here, which is that purple area, and I'll go ahead and mark this. Every time we get a cross like that, 
uh, we want to go long. Okay? So traditionally, you'd have to go through, if you want to do this manually, you have to mark each one of these, find the bar, and then figure out if you made profit or loss. What we're going to do is set this up so it does it automatically for us by creating an auto strategy. And it's actually very easy uh, to do uh, here, and we'll take you through an example. Um, there's that example we could do an SMA cross for fun here since I have a lot of people in the room. Um, how about the first person to type in, you know, a simple strategy? I'll go ahead and create that for them. Um, so something simple, you know, a moving average crossover. We could do the stochastic crossover here, these two lines crossing over. Uh, so let's see if anyone wants to type in, you know, a simple strategy. We could run a back test on it and see if it works. We could do price crossing uh, MA. All right, excellent. Bill says an MA cross. All right, excellent, Bill. Let's go ahead and set up a moving average cross. Let's see. Um, what moving averages would you like here? What period moving averages would you like if you want to feel like typing that in? I've got the uh, 50, I've got the 100, and the 200, but we can use any. Okay, a 2050 SMA cross. Excellent, Bill. Appreciate that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect to our live data. We're going to back test this on the real data. Connect back to Kinetic for my real data here. And let me just set this up on the chart. So uh, let me just remove every indicator. So we've just got price action here. Um, we'll also come down to SMA, the simple moving average. I'll click New to add two of those. Just do that twice. Um, and what we'll do is we'll set one the period on one of them to 20. That one will be orange. We'll set the other period to 50 as you requested. And down below, we can let's change the color on that one so we know which is which. We'll set the 50 to uh, red. And maybe we'll increase the width here on that one. All right, there you go. And I want to increase the width on both of these so it's easy to see. All right, there we go. So we're going to create a moving average crossover strategy. So when the 20 crosses above the red, which is the 50, we're going to go long. When it crosses below, we're going to go short. Let's set that up as a strategy. To, set, to create a new strategy, and again, you can follow along with me if you'd like to create this, go to your Tools menu, down to New. We call this Ninja Script, and then you want to choose Strategy. And that's going to bring up our Strategy Wizard, where we can build our strategy with no programming. Here's the wizard. Let's click on next. Let's create a name for this strategy. I'm going to call this Bill's uh, Bill. We name it whatever we want. Bill's 20. Uh, it's not going to put in that character. Uh, we'll just call it Bill's MA cross. You can enter the description here if you want. The 20 cross 50 MA. And then you can have it calculate on the close of the bar or not. I'm going to leave it on the close, which means that the bar has to close before I take my trade. So we'll click Next. Now, this screen is what we call user-defined inputs or variables. If you're a programmer, uh, you can input variables here to change later, such as the period of your moving average. And we show you this in detail on our YouTube channel. But for this demonstration, it's not required. We're just going to skip this screen. You don't have to use variables. So we'll just click Next. And so now you're going to be on Conditions and Actions. This is where you spend most of your time setting up your conditions and your actions. And Steve. Uh, I see yours there. We can actually set that um, up as well. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll see if we can set that up after Bill's, uh, Steve. So we're going to stick with Bill's for here for the moment. So what I'm going to do is click on Add here for uh, when the, these conditions are true. We're going to create our conditions, and then the actions go down below. So we'll start at the top. We're going to click on Add. This brings up the Condition Builder. This is all the different, um, what should I say, data from NinjaTrader. So you can grab any indicator out of your hundreds of indicators here. Um, and if I don't get time, uh, I do want to give everyone a link to our support forum. Just want to throw this tip out there. You can download custom indicators from our support forum. Uh, look for that file sharing section. Sorry, I just thought about that. Although you can grab any indicators here. Uh, under miscellaneous, you can do things like rising, falling, cross above, um, all types of things. Price. Data is your high, low, close. This is your price action information here. Uh, strategy information is if you want to compare, you know, if you want to check if you're long, short, 
you know, get advanced there. Here's your time value, Steve. So we would set up your time uh, conditions here. And then if you get a little bit more advanced, you can create your own variables and things like that. But we're going to keep it simple. Let's go to indicators, and we're comparing value on the left to values on the right using our operators. So what we're going to do for this scenario is we're going to come down to SMA. And again, we want when the 20, so we're going to type that for the period. Um, and we'll see here, you can do offsets if you want. I'm just going to set plot on chart to true, and this adds the indicator to your chart automatically for you. That's all that does if you set it to true. So we have when the 20 SMA, what do we want that to do? We want that to cross above over to the right. We want that to cross above the 50 SMA, so I just choose SMA. I just type in 50, and I'll set plot on chart to true. All right, so we've got our first condition. When the 20 crosses above the 50, We'll click OK. There's our condition. OK, so what do we want to happen uh, when the 50 or the 20 crosses above the 50? We want to go long, right? So down below under action, we're going to click add. And you can do different actions. You can do a drawing object on your chart. So for fun here, I'm going to set the background color to green when that occurs. So when we're going to go long, we're going to have a nice uh, green line up here. Let's do this lime green. So there's one action. You can add as many actions and conditions as you want. So I'll click Add. Uh, under Miscellaneous, you can do an alert, uh, which is the Ninja Trader Alerts window. Play a sound. Um, send an email. That's nice. If you're away from your computer, you can have it send an email when your condition uh, occurs. But we're going to go to Order Management. Here's all your different order types. So I'm going to choose Enter Long, and that's a market order. And I'll just click OK. So again, very simply, when the 20 crosses above the 50, we're going to enter long. It's going to change the background color uh, to lime green. Now, at this point, um, we can choose to, under set two here, we could enter our, an, another condition for when the 20 crosses below, we could say exit uh, long. Or we could go to the next window and set up targets and stops. Okay, um, so Bill, this is your strategy. Do you want to use a predefined target and stop? Or do you want to have it exit when the at the cross? So you just type in cross or target and stop. Okay, perfect, Bill. So in order to do that, we're going to set up another condition. So under set two, come in here and click add. We're just going to reverse that. Uh, so again, we'll come down to SMA, SMA of 20. And this time it's going to be crosses below over to the right. SMA of 50. Okay. I've already set plot on chart to true. Just a little tip out there. If you set it um, for that indicator to true, you don't have to set it true again. That's why if you had a question about that. And there we go. So now when the 20 crosses below the 50, uh, we're going to click um, exit long position. Or actually, oh, you want to do a short. That's right. So this is very cool. You can actually say enter short. Okay? Now Ninja Trader is smart enough to exit your long and enter the short with this one action. So you actually don't have to say exit long. You can just put enter short and click OK. All right. So that's it. So now we've got our crosses set up. All right. Oh, let's do a background color for the exit so we can see that. Um, so let me just put under drawing. We're going to do set background color. And let's do red. Okay, there we go. So now you're all set. You can up, do up to 10 sets. You can view and unlock the code. Let's just view the code. If you unlock it, you can't get back into the wizard. Uh, so just don't unlock it. But you can view it here. For those of you that do C Sharp, here's your code. And you can get in there and program it if you want to. Or teach yourself C Sharp. Okay, let's click Next. This next window I talked, you can, you can add hard targets and stops or even trailing stops. Click Add here. I'll just give you a quick example. Let's say we had wanted a target. Uh, we could do is percent price or ticks. I like to work in ticks. It's pretty straightforward. So let's say we're going to do this on Apple. You know, if we want a target of 100 pennies, that's a dollar, we would just enter it just like that. You can do a trailing stop, uh, a hard stop loss. Um, so that's available to you as well. But we've got our exit defined by the cross. So we're going to click Next, and we're going to click Finish. So we've got our strategy complete. A couple things we can do now. We can run it live in our chart, or we can back test it. So let's let's uh, do a back test here. 
We're going to go to File, New, and we're going to go to the Strategy Analyzer. This is where you run back tests, a very powerful back testing uh, system here. Bring this up. All right, so now we're, we've got the Strategy Analyzer. Uh, in NinjaTrader, I didn't have time to show you. You can set up your own list, instrument list here, custom instruments. We're going to do a back test on the fly. So if you want to choose that on the fly option, you can right click, select back, to back test. We also have optimize if you want to test a range of values and walk forward if you want to test over different time frames. So very powerful stuff here. But let's do a simple back test. Okay, so the strategy, let's choose uh, Bill's MA cross. Um, we're going to do, we're going to base this uh, bill. What time frame do you want to test this on? We can really do it on any time frame you want. We have five minute bars in there on the chart. Okay, 15 minutes. Bill asked for, so just type 15 there. Uh, NinjaTrader has, let me show you all the bar types available. Tick, volume, range, second minute, day, week, month, year. Kagi, Renko, point, figure, and line break. So lots of different ones available to you. 15 minute. Our instrument here, we're just going to type in AAPL for Apple stock. And then we're going to back test this from 1-1-2012 one, one, to uh, 12, well, we can do, yeah, we'll do 12-5-2012, so the full year. Um, and you can set different settings here. You can press your F1 key for the help guide uh, if you want to learn about all these settings. I'm going to just set, um, what are we going to do here? Set order quantity. Um, you do want to set your order quantity here. We didn't define it in our strategy, so we're going to choose a default size. And uh, let's say we're just doing 100, um, 100 shares on uh, Apple. Okay. All right. So let's click Run Back Test. There we go. So that work, you know, maybe a few minutes worth of work, is going to now back test over a full year's worth of data. And check that out. Bill had a profitable strategy. We didn't add commission. You can add commission, uh, but you know, total net here twelve thousand four hundred fifty. So congrats to Bill there. Um, on a profitable strategy over the year. Uh, so take a look. It breaks it down all trades, all your different uh, <laughs> uh, strategies there. Bill's happy. All your different trades. Breaks it down, all your statistics on the left. And then it breaks it down long versus short. So long we made 65, short 58. So both profitable on the long and short. Um, let's see. Percent profitable, 53%. So you beat the 50% mark. Uh, good job. So you can take a look at all your stats. Now take a look at the chart tab here. I really like this. <clears throat> Remember how we um, we have our SMAs on here, uh, the 50 and the 20, so you can see the crosses. You can actually see this is the visual form of your back test. So here's where all the trades occurred. So first, remember how I colored the background? Here you go. In time for the holidays, we had red and green here. So there's our long uh, when we had the cross to the long side and the red, of course, the cross to the short side. So it's a nice visual way. You don't have to go through and do this by hand anymore. Uh, you know, it did it all for you. You can go back and look at every single trade, which I absolutely love in this back tester, and see, you know, you can look at your losers and maybe adjust some things um, here as well. So we definitely have some different things we can look at there. Uh, under graphs, it graphs your different statistics. Here's your cum cumulative profit, so a nice equity curve there, Bill. So you see it kind of struggled at the beginning of the year, but recently it's been going great, 25% there. That's awesome. Uh, we can do different profits here. Let's do daily net profit. Um, you know, monthly efficiency. Here's our drawdown. So you can see maybe you want to try to work on that drawdown, about four, four, almost 5% drawdown. So lots of different um, things you can look at. You can look at every single trade. If you want to break down, I don't know, I think we had hundreds, hundreds of trades, 116 trades. Uh, you can right-click here and do a Monte Carlo simulation, a new feature we have. Let me just click Generate here. If you're not familiar with Monte Carlo, um, it takes your trades, all 116, I think, you know, 116 trades, and it randomizes the order of those trades, and then it runs the strategy again, and it gives you your percentages over if those were randomized uh, trades. Just in, in more gambling, but we've included it in IndiaTrader as it can apply to trading as well. We've got a nice help guide section. Just press F1 on that also. So let's take a look at the periods here. Here's all your monthly performances. Uh, we can do annual, daily, even down to hour, half hour of the day. I like day of the week. Thursdays, Fridays, and Mondays were your good days. Tuesday, Wednesday, for some reason, those didn't work out. And then your settings. So 
As you can tell, it's a very powerful back-testing system that you can use right away to test out your trading ideas like Bill did uh, right there. Now, Bill has a great question. Can you compare 15-minute to 30-minute? You can, Bill. Um, and in order to do that, I would run an optimize. Right-click and choose optimize. This is a little bit more advanced, Bill. I'll show you it is possible. Uh, we've got the Apple here. Every It saved our settings. What we're going to do is choose uh, where is it here? Optimize. Oh, here we go. Optimize data series. We're going to set this to true. So what it's going to do is now it's going to take value, a minimum to a maximum value, and see which one was best. So if you want to take a look at a 15 all the way up to 30, and you can increment that if you don't want, if you don't want it to go 16, 17, 18. Uh, let's have it increment by 5. So it'll do 15, 20, 25, and 30. Let me run that. That's going to take a little bit of time here, so I'll get that running. Um, looks like not too bad. Actually, it's almost done. So take a look at this optimizer. Um, the 20 period did the best. Uh, it got you a net of 12, uh, 448, uh, the 15 after that, the 30 after, then the 25. Um, so there's your optimization. So it is possible, uh, Bill. Good question there. All right, wonderful. I know that we're over the hour mark here. So, uh, Stephen, if, if you do have to jump in any time, let me know. Let me see if I can answer a couple more questions. And, again, everyone, we teach this every day. So if you want to come learn more, just download Intrader for free and uh, join our free webinars or our YouTube. I know I missed someone's question here. Um, let me see. I think it was from Steve. Um, yep, exactly, Bill. That will pick the best time frame. So, Steve, on yours, I know we can create it. That might take a little bit of time if you want price to get above the 9.30 to 10 period. Oh, after 10 a.m. So we'd have to find the higher low from 9.30 to 10, 10 a.m. and then create a strategy around that. I think we can do that, Steve. Um, I have to think a little bit about that on, on how to set that up. But uh, just send an email to support at com with that exact question, and we can help get that set up for you. All right, sorry, testing there. I had the uh, the room kind of reset on me. Um, hopefully you can hear me and I'll get my projection started again. Sorry about that. All right, let me see. Steve says, um, how can you get the market analyzer to use a different EX day open or period open in the net change column to give me a different percent result? Uh, Steve, that's a good question. The, the built-in net result, uh, net net change here it is that built in net change actually comes from your your data provider uh, so you can't change that Steve a workaround for that is creating um, is a custom indicator that calculates that and then you can change that value um, so Steve if you could uh, email that as well to support we'll see if we have a custom indicator that you can use um, as well Van uh, ask, can you do the strategy on the free version? Absolutely, Van. Everything I'm showing you right now, I'm doing on our free license key uh, version of MinjaTrader. So you just have to get connected to your broker or data provider for data. Kinetic has free end of day data, which, so you can do, if you want to do uh, back tests on daily, weekly, monthly, or yearly data, you can do that absolutely free. Just go to File Connect and you'll see Kinetic end of day free. If you just want to try out the charting, everything like that, just make sure you're looking at a daily uh, or higher chart, intraday data. Unfortunately, it's not free uh, these days. I, we don't know of anyone that provides it free unless you have a brokerage account. Uh, but we can help you get set up with a broker if you need assistance there as well. All right, wonderful. So let me just um, end here. I know we're well over our hour mark. I just want to give a big thank you uh, to Mr. Stephen Bigelow, everyone from Candlestick Trading Forum, for having me in the room. I hope that I was able to show you some of the great features of Ninja Trader you can get uh, right away, absolutely free from that download link. And then once again, everyone, 
If you want to take advantage of the special offer, it, it, it expires at the close of business tomorrow. Just email me. I'll get you taken care of. Sales at NinjaTrader.com uh, with the subject Candlestick Bull and Webinar Discount. I'll get you that link back if you want a $100 off the lifetime license key, a single broker, $200 off the multi-broker. If you want to upgrade to the multi-broker, if you already have the lifetime single broker. And then the last one here, I'll come back to it, is if you want to try live trading free, which we've traditionally never offered. This is basically like a 30-day trial of live trading. Um, you can request that as well. We'll get you 30 days free live trading. So if you have people who are talking about TD Ameritrade, we have uh, interactive brokers, MB Trading uh, for stocks, uh, hundreds more for futures and Forex. Um, if you want to get connected and try this with your live trading, uh, take advantage and email me uh, tonight or first thing tomorrow. We'll get you set up uh, before this expires tomorrow. Well, I know I wasn't able to cover everything I wanted to this evening, but um, you know I, we work closely with Candlestick Trading Forum. We'll try to I'll try to get back in the room, uh, but I do host a lot of our webinars. So if you'd like to come in and and uh, see a webinar, let me know. I do all of our weekend events as well. So if you're sticking around on the weekend, uh, I I'm the man on the weekend, so you can contact me um, or see the weekend events, and I'll be on there as well. If you want to come in and ask some questions, I always have an open QA session at the end. So uh, thank you very much, everyone. For those of you that do have to get going, have a wonderful rest of your evening. Happy trading from all of us here at Ninja Trader. Uh, I'll try to answer the questions here um, as we go along. But thank you very much, everyone. Really appreciate it. Uh, Bill says, what does flatten everything mean? Bill, good question. The flatten everything is a feature that allows you, if you go to file flatten everything, it closes all positions accounts again, across excuse me, all accounts. So let's say the most complicated setup, you're using a multi-broker, you're trading broker A, B, and C. Uh, you know, you have an account. Let's say you have a position open in Apple. You have a position open in, in the ES futures. You have a position open in the Euro, US dollar. Um, and then all of a sudden, you want to get out all positions right away. Just go to file, flatten everything. Ninja will make sure you're flat across all brokers, across all accounts. Um, that The close button only closes the specific um, the specific window you're trading on. So flatten everything, think about it as a global flatten, and then the close only closes that position. So hopefully that makes sense. Mike, yes, we do have the scanning uh, capability, Mike, in our market uh, our market analyzer. And if I bring this up right now, uh, the market analyzer, what you do to scan uh, is you, you load the instruments in that you want to scan. So I will admit the one drawback and one feature I know that development's trying to add is a full market scanner. Uh, for right now, for example, you can add an instrument list. Um, you know, we have the NASDAQ 100, S&P 500. You can um, upload a list, you know, if you have a hundreds or thousands of stocks you want to scan through. You get those uploaded, and then you load it into the market analyzer, and then you can scan through that list for basically anything you want to look for. For example, let's say that um, I'll right-click, come to columns. You can add an indicator here. Let's say, uh, let me just add an indicator um, let's go to like the CCI indicator, and I'm going to add that here. It'll, it'll give you your the value of the CCI here. You can see it's loading for all the instruments. And what you can do is then scan. Let's say you want um, an alert when the CCI crosses 100. You could set that up as an alert, and it will pop up to you in the alerts window with the sound, um, you know, with a, a big alert. And then you can attach that to your your trade window. That way you're all ready to trade. You can also set up color conditions. You see the net change is changing color here. You can set up custom color conditions um, on different items as well. So I could set up a you know red if it's lo less than 100, green if it's greater than 100. So another way to kind of scan, do alerts. And we teach that uh, if you want to see the YouTube video on Market Analyzer. Um, and here's our email address. Someone's asking for that. Sales at NinjaTrader.com if you want to contact me. Um, and we have um, some examples of that as well, uh, Mike. Uh, Van, yes, we do su uh, support interactive brokers. Uh, check out that connection guide that I put into the room on how to get connected. You can find it on the Ninja Trader website. Just click on support, and you'll find that uh, under the help guides. But here you go. Here's that link again. All right, James. Um, wonderful. Glad you enjoyed the event. Exactly, Bill. Thanks for putting that in. You're welcome. Thank you very much. <laughs> That's right, WTJC. When the AC fails, you hit flatten everything. Steve says we can't uh, see your chart. Oh, Steve, I was just showing off the market analyzer there. Um, but 
basically that was my last slide. So I think I got everyone's questions answered. Again, I really appreciate it, everyone. Good crowd this evening. Uh, send me an email, sales at ninjatrader.com, and we'll get you taken care of there uh, with, um, you know, the special offer, any questions you have as well um, on the free trial, the lifetime license key discount, uh, or, again, that upgrade. Thanks a lot, everyone. Have a great evening. Oh, uh, S10 got a question in here. Um, TradeStation support NinjaTrader. TradeStation works with NinjaTrader as a data provider only. Uh, you'll see that in the connection guide. Unfortunately, TradeStation does not allow third parties to place trades to their brokerage feed, uh, so they're not a broker partner. Good question. Does NinjaTrader allow back to say the first hour of trading for Apple for the last three months? Absolutely. Uh, you would set that up as a condition, Tang. Uh, let me give you that condition. It would be your condition would be uh, the current time. It'd be two conditions. So current time is greater than uh, the market open. So you'd put in your t whenever the market is on your PC. Let's just do this in Eastern. So that'd be my first condition. Current time greater than 9:30. Second one would be current time less than. Would you say the first four hours? So so 1:30 p.m. Okay, so there you go. That would be your first two conditions. Um, and then you just put in whatever other condition you want in there for your cross. Um, so that would be, you know, you, you break down your strategy into the different conditions and then build it in the wizard. And uh, S-Tang, if you need help with that, we have some amazing programmers um, that can help you out. Just email support and They'll give you screenshots and uh, help you set up those simple strategies. Well, thanks again, everyone. Uh, we'll go ahead and sign off here. Have a wonderful rest of your evening. Happy trading from all of us here at NinjaTrade. Raymond, thank you very much. Uh, thanks, everybody, for showing up tonight. The problem with Raymond's uh, presentation is no matter how much good stuff he's shown us tonight, that's just the tip of the iceberg. There's so many good features on uh, NinjaTrader. Uh, it would take... Uh, numerous sessions so that's a very good program everybody take a look at it and everybody have a good evening we'll see you in the chat rooms tomorrow